OMG, hey, you like totally found my YouTube channel. Welcome to the long-awaited 2024 bridal kit tour. I hope you guys are so excited. I am very excited to be filming this. And for anyone who does not know me, hello, my name is Isabella Lococo. I am a makeup artist based out of San Diego, California. And right now, currently in my career, I am specializing in bridal makeup, hence the bridal uh, 2024 bridal makeup kit tour. Also, if you follow me on my Instagram, which for anyone who does not know my Instagram, I will leave it right over here. Bella Lacoco Beauty, you can go ahead and give me a follow. I'm gonna sound like a broken record to anyone who follows me on my Instagram because I've been saying this on my stories, but I have to say this because this is so important and I wish I heard this while I was a beginner building my kit. Um, but here's what I can say. If you're a beginner makeup artist and you're looking for guidance on how to build your pro kit, what products to put into your kit, what you should be investing into, my best advice to you is to watch this video, see what products I'm using, see what shades I'm using, make a list if there's anything that's resonating to you, whether it's a product or a certain shade, X, Y, and Z, whatever. Go to a Sephora, an Ulta, a Nordstrom, a MAC counter, a Macy's, Anywhere where you can see the product, you can touch it, you can play with it, you can feel it, you can swatch it, and you can take home a sample. I highly recommend taking home samples. Also, what I like to do if I'm unable to take home a sample or just really want to actually get that product in hand, I will buy it in a shade that works for me and in a hygienic and sanitary way using disposables. You know, you guys know how to be sanitary. I will test that product on myself, and if I like it, I'll put it in my kit. If not, then I will just keep it for my personal use. I do have to say, um, building a kit is something that is extremely personal. I've been doing bridal now for three years, and I feel like finally this kit that I have in 2024 is the kit that is resonating the best with me. It's the kit that I feel the most confident using. It's the kit that um, I've really been able to curate and customize specifically to the demographic of client that I'm working on and to the style of work that I like to do. When you're a beginner, I feel a lot of people, I know I did, you think you need to use what everyone else is using. You think you need to be able to do everything because you are a makeup artist. You do not, you, you should be well-rounded, but you do not need to do everything. You do not need to be using what everyone else is using. You do not need to have everything under the sun. I currently assist two very talented, very successful makeup artists here in San Diego. And I remember during my first year while I was working with them, I bought a lot of products that I noticed they were using or that they advised me to look into investing. And although I deeply appreciated their guidance and it was very helpful, I also wasted a lot of money because I bought shades that did not work for me. Or, you know, I would see people posting saying, this is the best lip gloss. Everyone should get this. This is so good. This is my favorite. And then maybe two weeks later, it was like, oh yeah, I don't use that product anymore. I actually like this product better. Things are changing all the time in the beauty industry. It is a very fast paced industry when it comes to trendy products and trends of makeup styles in general. So all I can say is really take your time really, you know, learn about what you're gravitating most towards, learn about the demographic of client that's in your area that you're working in or that you see time and time again that's booking through you. And really um, don't be afraid to develop your style and to perfect that and to invest in products that just make the most sense to you, that you feel confident using and that are going to work best for your style of work. That's really all I can say. If you guys want me to make a video on how to build a beginner makeup kit, maybe something that's gonna get you through your first year to two years of freelancing, let me know. I definitely would love to do that for you, but I'm just gonna go ahead and stop chit-chatting. I feel like I got my point across and we're just going to jump right into the actual kit tour.
So to give you guys a rundown, I have my kit sectioned off into four different sections. So the first is this black mesh bag, which I call my utility bag. This holds all my basic utilities that I need for working a wedding. Next, we have my brush bag. Of course, this just carries my brushes. It also carries a couple essential products that I need during makeup application. I got this off Amazon. It's from the brand Relevel. It's the same brand as my top case. I will be linking everything in the description so you guys can go ahead and check that all out. And of course, the main base of my kit. So we have my top case and my Zuka. So starting off with my Zuka, I have the Zuka Sport. It has these double wheels, which makes it very convenient to go up and down stairs. I also purchased these side pouches, so it doesn't come with the Zuka. It is an additional purchase that I made. In my first side pouch, I keep some basic tools, so I have a mini fan to dry lashes, an extension cord. Obviously, this is a must. I also have a mini first aid kit and some contact lens solution for my contact lens wearers. In my second side pouch, I carry some basic products like makeup wipes, these glycolic acid toning pads. These are a great quick way to exfoliate your client's skin before makeup. I also have an extra MAC Fix Plus and my favorite body glow. This is from Red Carpet Color. I purchased it off of Nigel's. I love this because it sets down and does not move. So a lot of people that I know really like Sol de Janeiro. I think that's a beautiful product, but there's two things that I do not like about it. Number one, it is a very oily product, so it does transfer, it does move. Number two, it has a very strong scent. I love the smell, but I want something that's gonna set down and has no smell so it doesn't clash with my bride's perfume that she's wearing on her wedding day. And as you can see, this product is gorgeous. It gives a very soft, natural glow. It doesn't make you look wet and greasy and oily. And obviously it does not transfer. It sets. Like I have to scrub my hand to get this off. It will not get on your bride's dress. So I highly recommend looking into this product. We're now moving on to the inside of my Zuka. So as you can see, I have everything organized into a couple different bags. On those side little pockets, I carry basic things like Advil, Tynol, a contact lens case for my contact lens wearers, and this Makeup Forever um, HD foundation palette just in case I don't have someone's shade. I know I'm going to have it in there. Moving on to this top pouch, this is where I keep my New Face Mini. So New Face is a device that uses microcurrents to tone and tighten your facial muscles. It's great for those early start times when your face feels a bit saggy and a bit puffy. It's just going to help to really sculpt and chisel your face. And it's a very luxurious experience. I love providing luxury for my clients any chance that I can get. This lash bag is also a little bit of luxury. I don't think that lashes are a one size fits all. I like to create custom blends for my clients whenever I have the chance. So this has a lot of different clusters and individual lashes to customize the lash blend as well as some more dramatic lash styles. In these two pencil boxes, this is where I keep my lip liners. So I have one for pink nudes and one for brown nudes. I'm going to clear the air. A lot of people want to know where I get my organizational bins from. You guys, I get them all from Daiso Japan. So Daiso is a Japanese um, retail store. They have locations nationwide. Everyone asks me. So all those bins that you see in my top case, you're going to see them as the video goes on. They're all from Daiso. I don't get them from Amazon. If I've gotten anything from anywhere else, I will link it, but Daiso Japan is where I get all of those bins from. Anyways, this pretty bag is full of my gorgeous bridal lip glosses, so I'm going to go ahead and share some of my current favorites. I have been loving the Anastasia Tinted Glosses. I have the shades Soft Pink, Cotton Candy, and Guava. I've also been loving GXVE Gwen Stefani's makeup line. This is the Bubble Pop Electric Gloss in the shade Candy. And of course, the Dior Maximizer. Gorgeous formula. The shade 066 Shimmer Candy is stunning. I feel like frosty lips are coming back. And I've been loving Peaches and Cream Back Talk Lip Gloss. This is a beautiful shade as well. Next in this bag here, this is where I keep all of my shimmer shadows, my pigments, anything glittery, it's going to be in here. Here I'm just showcasing a couple of my current faves. So of course, this is Space Cowboy by Urban Decay, a gorgeous classic. This here is the Givenchy Eye Tint. This is in the shade number 12S. It is a gorgeous pearly shade and it's very sheer, so I really love that for bridal. 
Okay, moving on to a part of my kit that is just so satisfying to me. This is how I store my eyeshadow palettes. So I have them in this padded tablet case that I also got from Daiso. Sometimes you got to think a little bit outside of the box when you're creating your whole entire kit. So this is a padded case that I think is used to hold um, tablets. I'm not really too sure. Anyways, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I'm always talking about how I like to keep my eye looks very simplified in terms of the amount of products that I'm using. So these are pretty much the eyeshadow palettes that I carried. I narrowed it down to these three palettes. I'm very confident in these um, shades and the formulas. I feel they're very bridal. They fit the aesthetic of my work. They fit the style of work that I'm currently doing. I don't think that I need to be carrying green eyeshadow and red eyeshadow, although I think that is gorgeous. It's not my style of work. This is a bridal kit. So yes, these are my three eyeshadow palettes and I love them. This is the last bag in my Zuka. This carries all of my blushes and bronzers. So I'm going to showcase a couple of my faves. I've been loving the e.l.f. putty blush in the shade Bora Bora. It's this beautiful bright pink shade. It's gorgeous. I also have been loving the Ilia Multi Sticks. I have the shade In the Mood. Dear Ruby and Lady Bird. I really want to expand my shade range on these. I love this formula. A brand that I feel I haven't heard a lot of people talk about is RMS Beauty. So I have the, what are these? The I think they're the Redimension Hydra Blush. I'm not sure, but I have the shade Sangria, Cure Royale. I also have the shade Crystal Slipper. This is like a stunning gingery kind of shade. It doesn't look like much in the pan, but when you put it on, it is gorgeous. I also have French Rosé. I love this formula. It's so smooth, so dimensional. It's beautiful. Anyways, this is everything going back in its spot. It's so satisfying to see this. I love this. It's like a little jigsaw puzzle. Looks like a little home. So cute. Okay, and that's all that's in my Zuka. Let's move on to where I keep majority of my product, my top case. Okay, so here she is in all her glory. This is my top case. It is the Relevel Extra Large case. I got her off Amazon. She will be linked in the description for anyone who's interested. We are going to go through the top of my top case. So this is where I keep all of my basic tools. I have a mirror. I have these silicone mats that I like to use for my setup. I put my products on top of here. Keep it nice and clean and neat. In this pouch here, I have my collapsible portable trash can. That is an essential. I also have this bag that carries all of my touch-up kit items. So these little lip gloss tubes, these mesh bags, and these paper straws. I gift my clients my their puffs and their sponges. You cannot wash sponges. Gift them to your clients or throw them away. Please and thank you. Anyways, this box is where I keep all my disposables. I got it from Daiso. I wanted to share with you guys, I found these thin mascara wands. I hunted high and low for these. I found them off Shein. They're just nice because they're thinner, so they don't bump the bottom, like the under eye when you're doing bottom mascara, bottom lash mascara. I don't know. I thought they were cool. I love them. Anyways, these are my powder puffs, and this is how I'm currently storing my lashes this year. So I have a couple different styles in this tackle box. I have Kiss Muse in the style Noblesse, Kiss Muse Legacy, these natural lashes from Amazon. I have Ardell 420s and Ardell 421s, and then half lashes, which are pretty much Ardell 421s that I cut in half along with a couple different half lashes from Amazon. In this pouch here, I have a couple shade adjusters for foundation. I have an extra lash glue. I have a nail glue and I have this tiny, this teeny tiny little view set palette. And this style name is Bella, like so fitting because I love anything mini. So, hey, I love it. I'm planning on putting like shades of lipsticks that I normally wouldn't grab in there. So that way I have them handy. Then of course I have some trash bags for my trash can and that completes the top of my top case. Moving on to the big kahuna. This is the overview of my actual case. Absolutely stunning. There's a lot to go through. So I'm just going to dive right in. Up here I have a couple brow pencils. I have Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I have a few different shades of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. In this little side over here, I have a couple red and bricky lip liners, shades that I wouldn't normally grab, but I have them just in case. 
These clips are from Urban Outfitters. I don't know if they're still available, but they're very pretty for bridal. These are my favorite Alex Earl Benefit clips. Then in here, I just have a spatula, a metal spatula, as well as some brown and nude eye pencils from MAC Cosmetics. This is the Benefit Fluff, I think it's Fluff It Up Brow Wax and a Tide To Go pen just in case I need it, as well as a ballpoint pen. So as you can see, all of my foundations are in the original glass packaging. I chose specifically not to depot anything this year because I work in areas with a higher elevation. Ramona, Julian, Big Bear, Temecula, for example. Every time I depot things in those plastic containers and I pop them open, everything explodes everywhere. It's a freaking disaster. I am sick and tired of it. So anyways... They're in their glass package. Say what you want. It is my kit. I don't care. In terms of formula, I keep NARS Sheer Glow Max Studio Fix Fluid, a couple shades of the Maybelline Fit Me, and the e.l.f. Halo Glow. Those are my favorites. I mix and I match them, and they work great for me. In this little box, which is from Daiso, I have some gel liners and cream shadow bases. So I have the MAC gel liners in what is that black track and dip down i have a p louise base i have its fabstract paint pot and groundwork i like to use these to lay down a cream base to just create a quick and simple eye look i have another one of those boxes from daiso this carries a couple essentials so i have aquaphor in here i have the kiss super strong lash glue it's my favorite lash glue it is super strong i also have inglot duraline Elf Brow Lift and Lumify, which gives you literal doll eyes. In this little bag here, I obviously have some cotton swabs, and then I have some pencil liners that are just a bit too short to fit in those back pockets. So for this section here, this is where I keep all of my powders along with a couple lip products. So as you can see, I have depotted a bit of my powders, and I'll go ahead and go through those now for you. So I currently have One Size Beauty Hourglass Translucent Veil, Givenchy Prism Libre Number no. 3 and Number no. 2, and the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Banana Bread, Pound Cake, and Sugar Cookie. I do have the Givenchy Powder in Number no. 5. It's just in a separate area of my kit. But like I said, I did depot these into these Artist Kit Company bottles. It's just a much more sanitary way to dispense your powder rather than dipping into the loose powder itself. So here is my current lip palette for this year. You guys can go ahead and screenshot if you'd like. Any of the shades that are not labeled like Charlotte Tilbury, Morphe, or Maybelline are MAC shades, so feel free to go ahead and give it a screenshot if you want to check these out. Okay, this container is honestly like one of my favorites. It's so satisfying. I put this little foam insert in front so that way everything fits nice and snug. This is a cotton round and cotton bud container. I just think it's so crafty and cute and super sleek looking so let me show you guys the shades of the patrick top blushes that i have so we have she's that girl she's flushed which is my personal favorite and she's a doll this gorgeous bubblegum pink i also have a mini charlotte tilbury hollywood blush and glow palette this is a blush and highlight duo I'm now going to share where I keep my bronzers. So all of my Fenty Beauty Sunstalker bronzers are depotted in this Mayo Tall Cosmetics case. I have the shade In the Sun, Shady Biz, Private Island, Island Ting, Caramel Cutie, and Coco Naughty. I also have Mocha Mommy. She's just in a separate spot in my kit. All of my MAC Studio Fix powders are depotted into this Makeup Forever large palette. As you can see, some of them have cracked. This is why I don't like depotting everything. I also have this small Makeup Forever palette that holds my Anastasia brow powders, and it tucks right in front of there. So this center area, this container is from Daiso, and this is where I keep a lot of my concealers as well as other miscellaneous items. I use concealer for a lot of different things, so I have a lot of different shades. In this container, I also carry two of the ambient lighting palettes from Hourglass two of the soft sculpt sticks from makeup by mario 
a couple different shades of my favorite concealer, the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This product really is so versatile. I use it for priming the eyes, for liquid contour and bronzer, for underneath the eyes. It is amazing. I also carry different formulas and shades of Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, a waterproof mascara, and one of my current favorite products that not a lot of people know about or talk about, the Milani Supercharge Under Eye Brightening Tint. It's super thin. It's great to go under concealer to color correct and to mix into your concealer to change the undertone. Here as you can see my two formulas of shape tape. I have the creamy and the original. Another favorite concealer is the One Size Beauty Concealer. This is great for mature skin. It tends to set quickly and it doesn't really crease very much. I'm not a big fan of primers. If I'm going to carry a primer, it is for a specific need. So I have the One Size Beauty Secure the Sweat and Secure the Blur. Nine times out of ten, if I do use a primer, it is going to be this one, the e.l.f. Gripping Primer. I also carry two different shades of liquid liner, black and brown to cover lash bands, and the Charlotte Wonder Glow is a new primer added to my kit. I have two shades of Anastasia Liquid Lips. I have Crush and Strip, and that pretty much completes my entire main top case. So let's go ahead and move on to my brush bag. Ew. So for the first pouch in my brush bag, this is where I keep a couple lip products. I have the Urban Decay Vice Glossy Liquid Lipsticks. I have the shade OG Back Talk, Love You Back Talk, Texum, Safe Word, and Cuffed Up. I also have a clear lip gloss and a metal palette. In this smaller side pocket, I don't have anything too exciting, just a couple lip masks as well as an eye cream. I also don't have anything too crazy cray in this other side pocket, just a couple tools, a lash curler, tweezers, etc. So in the main base of my brush bag, I have all of my brushes categorized by face brushes, eye brushes, and small detail brushes. Back here, I have a couple brush nets. I have a mask brush and a metal spatula. So I use these brush nets. I got a whole pack off Amazon and they help to protect my brushes because oftentimes when you have a lot of brushes clustered together in here, the bristles can rub up against one another. They can fray. And as you can see, the side of the brush bag can kind of warp the actual actual bristles. So these nets just help to ensure the longevity and quality of my brushes stay high. This shit ain't cheap. I spent a lot of money on all of my tools, so I want to make sure that I get years and years worth out of them. Back here is where I keep all my skin prep. For anyone who does not know, I am a licensed esthetician, and even though I don't practice as one, skin prep and taking care of my client's skin is always top on my list. Here I have the Scandinavia Bridal Spray and the MAC Fix Plus. I also have a Embryolisse Intense Hydrating Mask, the Embryolisse Radiant Complexion Serum. I have a Hyaluronic Acid. The Walita Skin Food Light. It is important to specify this is the light formula micellar water as well as toner i'm very into the korean beauty method where you layer your toners with serum this just gives you very smooth and plump skin okay let's move on to the last section my black utility bag okay here she is my black utility bag this is the last section of my kit and this is where i keep majority of my tools so i have some alcohol as well as cinema secret brush cleaner my light this is from the brand newer it is a panel light i will go ahead and link it below in the description a mesh bag of the current clean brushes that i'm using on my clients this is another light that i like to keep and i use this for all of my content as well as before and after photos this bag here carries some basic essentials so tampons lotion and chargers for miscellaneous items my brush cups which hold my brushes while i'm working on my clients my JBL clip speaker, this goes in and out of my kit all the time because I always have to keep music with me anywhere I go. And the tried and true Miss AOA Pawpaw sponges. And that completes everything that is in this black mesh utility bag. If you guys stayed all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. This completes my entire 2024 kit tour. I forgot to film an outro, so here it is. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm so happy you're here watching my video. Please let me know what you would like to see from me in the future. Subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.